was our brother was preaching. Wasn't that a good word? Yeah. Uh, amen. You know, I was thinking as Pastor Richard was preaching, I was reminded us of scripture. Where Jesus was talking to a woman. And he was so impressed with her faith, he said, I've not seen such great faith. No, not in Israel. And that word came to me as you were preaching, Pastor Richard. We thank God for your great faith. You know, it's an amazing thing when you think about it, really. God established the United States of America as one nation under God. And we've sent missionaries all around the world to preach the gospel. I believe you were saved because of the preaching of a missionary. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And we've come to this point in time in the history of the United States of America where now God is sending missionaries back to preach to us. Because we need revival so bad. There's a man sent from God to us today. We've heard his word. Let's grab a hold of that. Meditate on it. Don't let it go. Amen. We have to demonstrate faith and not look at circumstances. God has given us everything we need and he's in the boat of life with us. He doesn't want us to fear. Challenges come and go. But the Lord is forever the same. Amen. And he's a way maker. And he'll make a way for you. If you trust and not doubt. Many of you have had words prophetically spoken of your life. Grab a hold of that prophetic word and don't let it fall to the ground. Remember the word of the Lord. And remind yourself in the days coming ahead, God, you said. And God will surely bring it to pass. Some of you are prepared to give today. If you, if you have to give and as you leave tonight, uh, this afternoon, place your offering in the back. We've already... God spoke to my heart about what we're going to do as a church. So we're not going to wait to count an offering, but we're going to believe, God, that uh, all of our needs, your needs and our needs will all be met. Praise God. We believe God is going to do that. God's already spoke to my heart about what the church is going to do. That's how we're going to respond to it. And so in our dismissal today, I will have an usher at the door with an offering basket. And just place your offering, if you have one, today in the basket. And we'll write a check from the church. Praise God for you, my, my brother. Stand together with me. Many have left us already today, you know. Uh, things to do. But uh, just please remember, Wednesday at 6.30, be here for Revelation Conference. Let's make this place a packed out house and start this thing off right. Signs are happening all around us. And the Lord one time rebuked the religious crowd of his day the first time when he said you can you can discern the signs of the sky and you cannot discern the signs of the times well the signs are all around us and i don't know how you feel but i don't want to be rebuked by the lord i want to hear what's going on around us and be ready these services revelation conference is designed for us that know what's happening and these men that are coming will surely let you know you need to know what's going on there's a lot of things happening that are fulfilling scripture even as we speak war is on the brink in israel and israel is the timepiece it's the centerpiece of prophecy being fulfilled this coming friday the u.n votes to acknowledge palestine the Palestinians as an accepted nation. That's, that's powerful. Because on the brink of that, war could break out any time. Begin the Psalm 83 war. Let me tell you about all that stuff. So I want you to be here and hear this. Because you need to. God has given us able ministers to come by like Pastor Richard today, Sherlock Dally and John Muncy on Wednesday to equip us and make us ready for the coming of the Lord. 
I'll say this, and this is the last thing I want to say before we dismiss in prayer. God is getting His church ready for the coming of the Lord. And His coming is probably sooner than any of us even think. Would you pray with me today? Father, we thank you, God, for the men of God that you sent among us today. We thank you for the word delivered, Lord God, through this chosen vessel, for touching our hearts, for stirring us in our spirit, man, today. God, we thank you, God, that you've allowed us to have ears to hear, Lord, what the Spirit would say to the church. Lord, help us, Lord God, to walk out from this place, Lord God, with a, a revived a revived expectation, God, of the great things that you plan to do in our lives. Because as the word went forward today, Lord God, you have a purpose and a promise before us to bring us to an expected end. You have put us in the bowl, God, you have set a dream in us. And we thank you, Lord God, that the dream is more than just a dream. As we keep our hand in you, our trust in you, our hope in you. God, that dream becomes a reality. So we thank you today, God, for the privilege of you being our Lord and Savior. God bless every family. God, let your blessings continue to strengthen them. And Lord, bring us together at the next appointed time of work. Bring us back, Lord God, this coming Wednesday. Expect you, Lord God, a great move of your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.